Have you ever wondered how your brain creates your reality? A seemingly simple question, but one that opens the door to an intricate universe of complexity. The brain, as neuroengineer Tim Hansen aptly describes, is one of the most information-dense, structured, and self-organized substances known. Consider this. Your brain is a bustling metropolis of roughly 170 billion neurons and glial cells. Now imagine each of these inhabitants in a constant state of communication, exchanging signals, building bridges, and creating an unimaginable number of connections. This is the neural network, the very foundation of your thoughts, emotions, and perceptions. But the sheer magnitude of this network is such that it's not just a simple grid of connections, it's a labyrinth of intertwining pathways, a vast cosmic web of neurons firing and wiring together. There are as many connections in a single cubic centimeter of your brain as there are stars in our galaxy. Truly, it's a universe within us, a complex universe. To fully grasp the extent of this complexity, we look to the works of neurobiologist and Stanford professor David Eagleman, particularly his books The Brain, Your Personal History, and Incognito. Eagleman likens the brain to an orchestra, with each neuron playing its part. He suggests that our reality is a symphony, a harmonious composition created by the collective effort of these billions of neurons. Similarly, in Phantoms of the Brain, V. Ramachandran explores the brain's extraordinary ability to adapt, to change, and to create our perception of the world. Through fascinating case studies, he demonstrates the brain's remarkable resilience and adaptability. But even with these insights, the neural network remains an enigma. Its complexity is so vast, so intricate, that it defies our current understanding. It's akin to a mathematical problem of such monumental scale, that new sections of mathematics need to be invented just to describe it. So as we delve deeper into this intricate universe within us, we find ourselves standing at the edge of a vast frontier, on the brink of countless discoveries. This neural network is so intricate that it requires new sections of mathematics to describe it. How does the brain store memories? This question opens a fascinating exploration into the capacity of our minds. Our brain, a natural marvel, is an intricate labyrinth of information with the ability to store and retrieve memories that shape our very existence. Our brain operates much like a supercomputer, processing and storing vast amounts of data. When we experience something new, our brain fires up, neurons start connecting, and a memory is born. This process is called encoding. It's the first step in creating a memory, like writing a note on a piece of paper. Next, our brain takes this encoded information and begins to store it. This is known as the process of consolidation. Think of it as putting that written note into a filing cabinet for later use. The brain doesn't store all memories in one place. Instead, it cleverly disperses them across various regions. For instance, the hippocampus, often referred to as the memory hub, plays a crucial role in storing autobiographical and spatial memories. Moreover, our brain organizes information in a way that makes it easier to retrieve when needed. This is done through the process of association. Let's say you smell fresh baked cookies. Your brain might instantly take you back to your grandmother's kitchen. That's because your brain has associated the smell of cookies with the memory of your grandmother baking. But how much can the brain store? It's hard to pin a number on it, but estimates suggest our brain's storage capacity is equivalent to about one petabyte or a million gigabytes. That's enough to hold three million hours of television shows. You'd have to leave your TV running continuously for over 300 years to use up that much storage. Our brain's capacity to store memories is truly mind-boggling. It's not just about the quantity, but the quality of memories, the emotions, the sensations, and the experiences that make us who we are. Our brains are the most sophisticated storage systems in existence, holding countless pieces of information. How does the brain adapt to new things? That's the question we'll be delving into for this segment. The brain's capacity to adapt is nothing short of miraculous. It's an ever-changing landscape that adjusts to new experiences, learning, and even injuries. This remarkable ability is known as neuroplasticity. At the heart of neuroplasticity is the brain's knack for learning new things and forming new connections. You see, when we learn something new, our brain changes. New connections are formed between neurons, the brain's nerve cells. This is how we remember, learn, and adapt. And the more we use these connections, the stronger they become. It's like carving a path through a dense forest. The first time you walk through, it's challenging, but each time you tread the same path, it becomes clearer, easier to navigate. The same principle applies to our brain. 
The more we practice or repeat something, the stronger the neural pathways become, making it easier for us to recall and perform that action or thought. But it doesn't stop there. Neuroplasticity is also about resilience. It's how our brains recover from injuries or cope with changes. If damage occurs to a particular region, other parts of the brain can sometimes take over the functions that were lost, forging new paths and connections. It's a testament to the brain's incredible power to adapt and survive. This adaptability is not limited by age. While it's true that our brains are more plastic during our formative years, neuroplasticity continues throughout our lives. Whether we're learning a new language in our 30s or picking up painting in our 60s, our brains are always ready to form new connections and adapt. In a nutshell, the brain's ability to adapt is a testament to its incredible power. It's dynamic, resilient, and always ready to learn. So, the next time you're faced with a new challenge, remember, your brain is equipped to handle it. It's ready to adapt, change, and grow. The brain's ability to adapt is a testament to its incredible power. Ever pondered how your brain formulates thoughts? The brain, in essence, is a thought factory. It is an intricate network of neurons bustling with constant activity, churning out thoughts like a well-oiled machine. So, let's take a closer look at how this factory operates. Information from our senses, thoughts, and experiences are processed in the brain, forming the raw materials that our thought factory works with. These are then whisked away to different areas of the brain, each specializing in a particular type of processing. Here's where it gets interesting. The prefrontal cortex, the brain's executive control center, plays a crucial role in formulating and organizing our thoughts. It's the brain's CEO, if you will, overseeing the operations, making decisions, planning, and problem solving. Meanwhile, the hippocampus, a tiny seahorse-shaped structure, is busy creating and storing memories. It's like the factory's archive, storing away all the processed information for future use. Now, imagine these two areas working in perfect harmony, with the prefrontal cortex using the memories stored in the hippocampus to formulate thoughts. These thoughts then influence our emotions, decisions, and actions, shaping the very reality we live in. But it's not just about churning out thoughts, the brain is also constantly refining its thought production process. This is where the concept of neuroplasticity comes in. Neuroplasticity allows the brain to adjust and adapt to improve its thought production process based on past experiences and new information. It's the brain's quality control department ensuring that the thoughts produced are the best possible ones for any given situation. In essence, every thought we have, every decision we make, every emotion we feel is the result of this intricate process. It's a testament to the incredible complexity and adaptability of the brain. So the next time you find yourself lost in thought, remember this, you're not just thinking, you're witnessing the workings of one of the most complex systems in the universe. Every thought we have is a product of this amazing organ. So, what are these incredible properties of the brain that often go unnoticed? Let's take a moment to recap. The brain, often underappreciated, is a complex universe in itself. With over 170 billion neurons and glial cells, it's a bustling hub of activity, creating an unimaginable number of connections. These connections are so intricate that we've had to develop new mathematical concepts just to describe them. This complexity is staggering when you consider that a cubic centimeter of your brain holds as many connections as there are stars in our galaxy. Moving on, the brain is a veritable storehouse of memories. It's not just a passive receptacle, but an active participant in the process. It takes in information, processes it, and stores it away for future recall. It's like a librarian carefully cataloging books, except these books are your experiences, your knowledge, your skills. Moreover, the brain's ability to adapt is nothing short of remarkable. Neuroplasticity, the brain's capacity to reorganize and form new neural connections throughout life, allows us to learn new skills, adapt to new environments, and recover from brain injuries. It's like a master sculptor, constantly reshaping and refining based on new experiences and learning. And let's not forget, the brain is a thought factory. It formulates thoughts, ideas, and concepts. It's the birthplace of creativity, the epicenter of decision-making, and the origin of all human consciousness. It's like an artist's studio where raw materials of sensory input are transformed into the masterpiece that is our perception of reality. The brain is not just an organ, it's an intricate universe, a storehouse, an adapter, and a thought factory. It's the most underrated property of who we are. So, the next time you're marveling at the stars in the sky or the vastness of the universe, 
Remember that a similar miracle of complexity, adaptation, and creation is happening right inside your head.